week five of the fantasy football season. And here's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking this week. The first guy is Justin Tucker of the Baltimore Ravens. So Justin Tucker, we know he's one of the best kickers to ever do it in NFL history here. And in week four, once again, just another day at the office it was for Tucker with a double-digit fantasy day, 12 fantasy points at the Denver Broncos. And here, week five, Monday Night Football versus the Indianapolis Colts. I think it's going to be an easy double-digit day once again for him. And this Raven team, they're not finishing many drives in the end zone, but he's getting plenty of opportunities so far this season here to get a lot of field goal attempts. And Tucker... In the first three out of four ball games so far, he's reached double-digit fantasy points. And he'll double once again this week. The next guy is Tyler Bass of the Buffalo Bills. So Tyler Bass, what a week he had last week with 13 fantasy points. And this week here at the Kansas City Chiefs, this is going to be a highway shootout between the, both these teams. We'll pick his high, high we ranked this week here in week five. This ball game, I easily could see it in the 30s to 40s for both teams here. The Buffalo Bills, they've been putting up 35 plus the last three games. First week of teams, no doubt about it, but right here, this Kansas City Chief defense, in my opinion, isn't that good. I think they need help in the secondary and at the linebacker position. And right here, Tyler Bass and this Bill offense, they've been living in the red zone so far this season. And I think once again in this ball game, they'll be in the red zone a lot and Bass will have a good day. The number three kicker was staying in the same game. Harrison Bucker of the Kansas City Chiefs. So Bucker, we know he's a good kicker. We know he's on one of the top offenses in football this season. Even though this year he's failed to reach double-digit fantasy points in the first four games of the season. So the last two weeks, week three and four, six fantasy points for Harrison Bucker. But here in week five versus Buffalo, this Chief team, they're versing a pretty good build defense. But they're still going to put points on the board. And I think Bucker's going to get two or three field goals and a few extra points, so I got him in number three, number four, Daniel Carlson of the Las Vegas Raiders. So Carlson, he had an off day last week, including missing a 53 order in week four at the Chargers, but it was a quick hiccup in my opinion. He was the best kicker the first three weeks of the season in terms of fantasy points for the kicking position. So this week, first the Chicago Bears back home in Vegas, obviously, indoor game, which is always a plus for a kicker. And like I mentioned, it was just one bad game. He didn't get many opportunities. The one he did, he missed a tough field goal. And in this game, the Raiders are going to score way more points than they did versus the Chargers, in my opinion. And Carlson, he's going to have a good game and a guy I recommended to start as well. Number five, Greg DeLeg Zerline of the Dallas Cowboys. So this Dallas Cowboy offense is very high-powered and putting up a lot of points so far in the first month of the season here. Each game with at least 20 or more. In the last two games, 41 and 36 they put up. In week five versus the New York Giants, I don't know if this Giant defense is going to be able to stop this Dallas Cowboy team for at least getting in the red zone. Greg the leg, he's had a couple good games and a couple games where he missed a lot of field goals. But this week versus the Giants, I think he reaches double digits and gets many opportunities in the Meadowlands here. Number six, Matt Prater of the Arizona Cardinals. So Prater was a recommended ad on the wave of wire this week. And he got added in 16% of fantasy weeks. So people went out there and got him. And this guy, he's been pretty solid this season here. And he's on one of the top offenses, like I mentioned as well, with the Arizona Cardinals. So right here, last week, a big fantasy day for Prater. 13 fantasy points at the Rams with a 27 and a 29 yarder and a 53-yarder and four extra points. And right now, back home again in the Dome here is Matt Prater and the Cardinals versus San Francisco 49ers that give up the 12th most fantasy points to kickers. So I think this week, once again, Prater has a good game and reaches double digits. Number seven, Brandon McManus of Denver Broncos. So McManus last week, he had an off day, and he didn't get many opportunities. That Baltimore Raven defense shut down McManus and the Broncos, and he hit an extra point. And he missed a long field goal in this game. So right now, he got dropped in 7% of fantasy leagues. But last week was one bad week for him. This week, he's going to bounce back at the Pittsburgh Steelers, where they are defense that bends but don't break. And I think McManus will have at least two or three opportunities in this ball game to put it through the uprights. And right here, I think he'll reach double digits as a high possibility. The Steelers give up the fourth most fantasy points. To kickers. And this week, I think McManus bounces back with a vengeance. Number eight, Matthew Gay 
of the Los Angeles Rams. So if he didn't do much in that ball game with eight fantasy points still, even though the Rams only scored 20. He had a 26-yarder, 44-yarder, and two extra points. And here tonight on Thursday Night Football at Seattle, I think this is going to be a high-scoring game versus two NFC West rivals here. And I think Matt Gay is going to have a good ball game where I think he'll reach the 8-10 to 10 plateau once again here. He's in a high-powered offense. He's a pretty accurate kicker. And, hey, why not? I got him at number 8. Number 9, Nick Folk of the New England Patriots. And the Patriots have a great matchup this week versus the Houston Texans in Houston, which is even a plus here instead of kicking in the wet conditions like he did last week as Folk in Gillette Stadium after missing a 56-yarder to win the ball game. So Folk last week, four fantasy points. And before that, he was on off to a good start. But here in week five, I say he gets back on track at the Houston Texans here. It wouldn't surprise me to see him reach double digits and have many opportunities because this Patriot offense is another offense that they don't score many points, but they get a lot of field goal opportunities. And I think that's going to be the case here with Nick Folk, number 10, Young Ho Koo of the Atlanta Falcons. So the Falcons versus New York Jets in London this week here at 9.30 a.m. Start on the East Coast and 6.30 a.m. on the West Coast. So cool. he was one of the top kickers taken this season in fantasy drafts. And this year he's failed to reach double-digit fantasy points at all. But right here he's got a great matchup in Week 5 versus the Jets. who give up the second most fantasy points to kickers. Even though last week versus Washington they give up the most fantasy points to kickers. And he only had five points. But in this ball game, the Jets defense... They're a little bit better than Washington in the bend but don't break in the red zone type of thing. So I think Young Oku, this could be the week where he maybe reaches double digits. Because it's not like he's going out there missing field goals. He's just not getting many opportunities like he did last season. But this week, I think the opportunities will be there. And it will hit him. Number 11, Rodrigo Blankenship of the Indianapolis Colts. So Rodrigo Blankenship, pretty solid in his second season in the NFL here. So far this year... He's had three out of four great ball games since week two. Week two versus the Rams, 12 fantasy points. Week three at the Titans, nine. Week four, Miami, 10. And week five here, Baltimore. I know they give up the eighth least amount of fantasy points to kick is. But right here, I think this Colt team's going to have trouble finding the end zone on Monday Night Football. And I think Rodrigo Blankenship, once again, for the third time in four weeks, is going to reach double-digit fantasy points. He's an accurate kicker. He's got confidence. And like I said, this Colt team, they just don't finish in the end zone. And the 12th and final kicker, I got right this week's Ryan Suckup of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So suck up here. I think it's going to be a lot of extra points for him in this ball game. Or one or two field goals made. But last week, a big game for him. His best game of the season. 13 fantasy points, four field goals made, and an extra point. But this Buccaneer team, I think they're going to put up at least three or four touchdowns versus this Miami Dolphin defense, and they're back home in Tampa. And plus, Ryan suck up here. He's going to hit all those extra points, but only get one or two field goal attempts. But just with the offense he's in and the chances he could get, he's definitely got to be a top 12 kicker pretty much each and every week. So that's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking heading into week five of the fantasy football season.